Hello everybody, Stallion's Handsome Jack Boy here, bringing you guys the 11th episode of my Borderlands Pearlescent Weapons Guide. And in this episode, I'm going to be covering the Nemesis. The Nemesis is a Hyperion Shock Repeater Pistol, and the prefix for mine is TK4.N Crimson Nemesis. The prefix for you guys might change. Now, as you can see there, in the red text it says, There is no escape. That means that the Nemesis can be either shocked times 3 or times 4, Prox adds additional corrosive projectiles, and it has a fixed pattern. Now, reading under the usage and description section here on the wiki for the Nemesis, it says due to its special effect, it is possible for the Nemesis to fire up to 5 projectiles per pull of the trigger, or 10 with the gun crazy skill of the Hunter, making it a very powerful weapon. The shock and corrosive combo is reminiscent of the special effect of the Malawan Tsunami. However, the Tsunami will only proc one element per shot and its tech pool appears to run dry much faster than the Nemesis. If a Nemesis spawns with an Invader Scope, which unloads the entire magazine when scoped, it becomes several times more dangerous. The high accuracy, center projectile only, sides will miss at long ranges, of the Hyperion material combined with a high fire rate of the scope, the multiple projectiles fired, and the fast reload speed of repeaters make this one of the most dangerous weapons on Pandora. Now, if you guys don't know how to actually obtain pearlescence, they're only obtainable within the Secret Armory of General Knox DLC, and this particular pearlescent has a chance to drop from Badass Defenders and Badass Infantry, and like all pearlescent weapons, the Nemesis can also be dropped from Cromrax and found in Crimson Lands weapon chests. Alright, so my opinion about the Nemesis, man, this is a really awesome repeater pistol, and I'm not gonna lie, it, it, it does a lot of work. As you can see in this footage, these bandits are just getting shredded by that corrosive and shock and fire and slag and what was the other one? Oh yeah, explosive! Just kidding. <laughs> That's a reference to Anson Jack, if you didn't know, but um, yeah, this is just a really awesome repeater pistol. A lot of fun to use, that's for sure. I love the fire rate on it and um, Man, I just I had no clue that it was going to be this good. Why didn't you guys tell me about this thing before? Just kidding. You probably, yeah, I just must have forgot or something. But I heard this is one of the rarest pearlescents in the game, which I don't know how much I believe that. I mean, I haven't found it myself. Uh, really quick, speaking of how I actually got this thing, I do want to give a big shout out to Mr. Grimjow. He was kind enough to dupe me this gun. If you want to go check out his YouTube channel, there will be a link in the description below. But yeah, guys, this thing is a freaking beast. <laughs> I cannot get over how amazing this gun is. It's just so shocking that it is this OP. But as you can see right here, I switch over to the Tormentor class mod, increasing my elemental effect chance and elemental effect damage, pretty much making this thing even more better, even though it was already freaking good to begin with. <laughs> Um, but as for the best class to use this gun with, it's got to be a tie between Mordecai and Lilith. Mordecai would probably win though just because he has some skills that can make really any pistol amazing even if that pistol sucked balls to start out. So <laughs> yeah, uh, I think he has an upper hand here, but Lilith can also make really good use out of it. As you can see in this footage, she can make the elemental effect damage and elemental effect chance just over the top awesome and uh, I mean it, it kind of depends on uh, what you're looking for here I mean if you want more pistol everything then go with Mordecai if you want more of that elemental effect go with Lilith it's kind of down to personal preference is how I should have put it but uh, yeah I think that is pretty much going to wrap it up for this video guys there's one more thing I do want to mention on the wiki here, it did say that this gun can spawn with an invader scope, pretty much making it a hybrid. I will cover that later down the road um, once I do obtain it. And as for the hybrid that I'm working on right now, I kind of want to give you guys just a quick progress update. I have been farming for it, and I have been farming for it ever since I got the TK's Wave Hybrid. And I still have yet to get this one, so <laughs> I'm hoping pretty soon. 
I will obtain it. I'm about 900 tries in around there. I, I kind of lost track a while ago. It's kind of getting a little bit frustrating. It is one that you guys have been requesting for a while now. It might be pretty obvious what it is. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much going to wrap it up. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe for more. And I'm out of here. Peace. Connect.